Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the draw button at the far left end of the drawing toolbar to access a pop-up menu of commands. This shows you menu options that you have for the selected objects on screen. You can control the grouping of the objects in the section at the top. You can change the order in which they appear. You can nudge them for more precise positioning. You can rotate or flip the selected objects and you can also align and distribute objects on screen. Let's look at how we can use some of these commands. Here we have two objects that we've drawn and then placed on top of each other. The most recently drawn object is always on top. So if, for example, we wanted to put this entire thing inside of a circle, and yet the circle is the last thing we drew, the circle becomes the dominant object. So let's say that we wanted to take this circle and send it behind the two objects we'd previously drawn. We could make sure it's selected, click the Draw button, and choose Order. From the menu that appears to the side, I could take the object and bring it to the front of the stack, send it to the back, bring it forward one level or send it backward one level, bring it in front of text or send it behind text. So from this side menu, I'm going to choose send it all the way to the back. Now let's say that I would like to take the objects and I would like to place them directly on top of each other. Notice the square is not in the middle of the circle and the lightning bolt's not in the middle of either. In this case, you would want to align the objects. To do this, you're going to have to select multiple objects. One way to do it is to simply click on each one while holding down shift on your keyboard. So we hold down shift, click the circle, the square, and the lightning bolt. At this point, with the object selected, go back and click Draw in the drawing toolbar. Run up to Align or Distribute, and let's choose to align them in the center, and then also choose to align them in the middle. Notice that if you wanted to align them or distribute them relative to the page, you would have to check this first, and then choose your alignment. Also, if you would like to, you can make sure that all the objects that you've selected are then treated as a single object, so that you don't accidentally click and drag one out of position. To do that, once again, hold down Shift and click on all the objects which you would like to group together. Make sure they're aligned and distributed the way that you prefer. And then click Draw and run up to Group and click the Group command. This then treats the object as if it were a single object. So you can click and drag it and move it around on the page as if it were one single thing. If you need to make a change to an element, you can click on it, click Draw, and choose Ungroup to break it into its component elements deselect by clicking off into the blank area, and then click on the one you would like to modify. If you'd like to group it back together with its other component objects, make sure one of them is selected, go back to draw, and choose Regroup. It will group the selected object back together with the objects with which it was just previously grouped. Also, if you'd like to move some objects around just slightly, you may click on it, choose Draw, choose Nudge, and pick a direction. And that will nudge the object on screen. You get the same effect by holding Control on your keyboard down and pressing the arrow keys on your keyboard. That also nudges objects slightly. If you wanted to flip or rotate the object, you could also make sure that it was selected, choose Draw, 
go up to rotate or flip, notice you could choose free rotate from the side menu that appears, or you can rotate it to the left or right 90 degrees, or you can flip it horizontally or flip it vertically. And that's it to using the commands on the drawing toolbar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.